Ag Company, and welcome to a formal yet uninformal introduction to the Smitten Mitten family. Um, we're here on a beautiful, uh, what is it, a Wednesday afternoon here? Uh, okay, Wednesday afternoon, it's pretty sunny, hence why I'm wearing Dane's sunglasses. Um, one thing I did want to point out though is I'm wearing a Rag Company beanie that you can pick up at theragcompany.com right now, which they're, they're really cool, they're really comfy. Um, when you compare it, or when you pair them up with some sunglasses, you, you can look like me. Pretty cool. <laughs> but anyways, let's jump straight into this, guys. Um, Jeff, the owner, wanted us to uh, basically create uh, like an introduction to these uh, smitten mittens uh, for a lot of you people that have questions out there because I know these, uh, these serve a place in the detailing world, but a lot of people wonder where they fit and, and how they can incorporate them into their detailing regimen. So to start off, let's start with the smitten dry, aka our drying mitten. This was the first mitten that we introduced into the, our microfiber detailing family um, and probably a fan favorite. So what this is, is this is a combination of our pluffle, our platinum pluffle on one side and our twist loop pile on the other side. So our platinum pluffle is a very popular and safe drying towel. It's a combination of a circular knit weave and a waffle weave towel. So it's extremely absorbent. On the back side here is the twist loop. This can be found on the twist, wrist jet, the twist wrist towel and the twist and shout towel. So both of these combined make basically two of the most absorbent materials that we have. And they're tied together with a 70-30 butter soft suede edge. So a lot of people have picked these up and they've, they've liked them for just typical drying, but what do we guess, what are our recommended uses? What's the intention behind this mitt? Um, well, we initially created this for areas, uh, problem areas where you have a towel that falls under the ground. Uh, I think we all can admit that we've had a situation where we're drying a lower side skirt area, a front splitter, a diffuser, and we've had a towel flop over and hit the ground. And as you know, once the towel hits the ground, it's a dead towel for that detailing session until it gets washed. So that's where this comes into play. This simply slides over your hand like this. There's two loops inside the mitt itself that you can put your fingers into. And this is what you're gonna use to go underneath the side skirt, go over, over the, uh, the diffuser, uh, front splitters, front spoilers, anything like that uh, to keep the towel from falling onto the ground. Um, this is, like I said, a combination of our pluffle material, so it's extremely absorbent to use as a drying uh, media for those lower areas. Now, another use that I really like for these are door jams. You finish your wash, you have a ton of excess water in the door jams, but you don't wanna take out your damp towel or you don't wanna basically use a new towel on those areas. This is where the mitt would come into play. Simply open the door, slide this on over your hand, and it simply tucks into those nice tight areas without um, getting anything else wet or anything else dirty uh, that you've previously dried. So this right here, like I said, is the Smitten Dry. It is what our initial mitten that we released and it is extremely popular and a fan favorite. Now, moving on to the next mitten in the lineup is the Smitten Glass. So this is the Smitten Glass mitten. This was made specifically for hard glass jobs, uh, meaning when you're, I guess, let's just say the interior of a vehicle, for example. Everybody knows that on the front windshield, where the windshield meets the dash, there's that really hard area to get a towel into and be finesse about it. And to be honest, nobody looks cool cleaning that area, no matter what. It always looks awkward how you're kind of bending your hand. Not it. even if they're wearing those sunglasses? Yeah, not even if they're oh, wearing the sunglasses. You okay. look cool. However, if you are wearing the beanie, you might look a little bit cooler. Um, but this is where this comes into play. So you have your windshield, you can reach down into that recess there where the dash meets the windshield and basically successfully clean that area because the leading edge of this glass mitten is a 70-30 Buttersoft suede. Now, what is, this, what is the material that this is? So this is a combination of our Korean 70-30 waffle weave, also known as our Dry Me River waffle weave, and then flipping it over is our same twist pile that is found on the drying towel or the drying mitt. Now, the reason why we chose this is because the twist pile is very similar to a, uh, a Terry style weave, meaning it's super universal and it can be used on multiple surfaces with a lot of success. But one of our favorite factors that comes into play with the twist pile is that it makes a great glass cleaning towel that provides a streak free finish. It's a non linting style pile, meaning it's not going to lint like maybe a higher pile towel would normally do. So. With this in combination, you have both of these sides to clean glass um, basically and get that streak-free finish. Now, 
The Korean waffle weave is my personal favorite, but a lot of people like doing a lot of the brunt work with the twist pile because it's just a little bit higher than the waffle weave and has more, uh, I guess, more area and deeper, uh, deeper pile for more dirt and debris to go when you are wiping an area. So now that's our smitten glass. Moving on to the newest member of our smitten family is the smitten interior mitten. The now, egg. The, uh, <laughs> AKA the egg is what we call it around the office. Uh, mainly for the fact that it has this beautiful yellow Easter, uh, this Easter yellow color on one side. That was on purpose. You'll never mistake yeah. it for any of the others. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody else that's trying to copy this color. This is one of a kind. So this interior mitten is a combination of our 800 material and our twist pile material found on the other smittens. We wanted to make uh, one common factor with all the smittens so you know they're ours, so we put the twist pile material on all three. Now, the 800 is an extremely popular towel that we have. It's the perfect combination of plush meets absorbent. Like I said, these are all 70-30 blend, everything from both sides to the edge. So the 800 is great for when you're wiping down into your panels. And the reason why I say that is because it has just a little bit of a longer weave than a Terry does, but it's a circular knit weave, meaning that there's more area for that dirt and debris to go when you are doing some light dusting or light cleaning with an interior detailer. Now, the other side is the twist pile side. Now, what I like to use this for is on leather that I need to scrub or possibly stains in the car that, uh, that need a little bit more scrubbing power. The 800 is a little bit too soft for that, so the twist pile is the perfect combination of, um, of kind of having that little extra bite, but still being soft enough not to start damage anything or hurt any of your interior plastics. So for leather cleaning, you'd spray your either your all-purpose cleaner that's diluted heavily, uh, you can use Power Clean, you can use O&R, whatever you choose to clean your seats with, and use this as your scrubbing media. Then you flip it over to your 800 side, and this is what you're gonna use for your leather conditioner to kind of uh, finesse everything uh, back in and kind of clean everything up. So this is a great mitt. Like once you use it, you'll understand why it fits into the, the detailing regimen. And so what I personally like this for is for deep dashes, kind of like I was explaining with the, uh, the smitten glass here, when you have to clean those deep window recesses, um, this works great for cleaning deep dash recesses um, and then kind of cleaning up around extra door uh, jams and, and trim and things like that. So um, that's it guys, that's the smitten family. We wanted to kind of give you some direction because we get a lot of questions asking what they should use, which mitten for, and, and why. And like everything else we sell, guys, we sell, it's, it's, it's towels, basically. This is a towel material. So you can get crazy with it. You can kind of create your own uses for them, but we do like to give you guys directions so you know our uh, best recommendations. So anyways, you can pick these up at the Rag Company. You can pick these up two up in a pack themselves. Um, and then you can pick this up individually. And here pretty soon we're gonna have a three pack where you can get all three of these together and incorporate the smittens into your detailing regimen. The interior one was just so new that, yeah. yeah. The interior one was just so <laughs> new that we wanted to show you guys um, the reason why you'd want this um, in comparison to the other two for interior work. Um, and kind of give everything a little bit more direction and give everything a good description. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Like I said, this was an impromptu live video. It wasn't planned. We just kind of threw on the sunglasses, opened up the garage door, and decided to make a video. So uh, if you guys have any questions, leave those down in the comments. You can contact us through email. You can call us over the phone. Whatever we can do to help you guys out. So we will catch you in the next video. Well, and hey, I got a quick question. Oh, yeah, you know, you, back there. Hey, hey, Dane, back here on the other side of the camera. I'm just wondering, you know, you guys like live videos? Should we do more live videos? Like when we have something, is that something you guys like to see? Is that kind of question directed towards me or the audience? I think it's for both. But hey, what do you think? I like doing live videos. All right. I think they're very personal and like they're like it's kind of you get to see you know no editing, no movie magic. This is just kind of what it is. I mean, I probably miss said like uh, several different <laughs> things i probably said the wrong things halfway through this thing but that you know happens what? sometimes but that's the beauty of life we're so we're winging it we're yeah. winging it and we're very uh i don't know hey we're, we're pretty fun though so i mean it, it makes it all right plus you're wearing glasses i know you're worried you're like oh they're gonna make fun of me, make fun of me. <laughs> hey guys in the comments oh yeah they're saying more live <laughs> yeah more live yeah okay. i don't know about more sunglasses not so. about more sunglasses either, <laughs> but we will definitely do more live it's it's just, um, yeah, we like to give you guys like a look at what we do. And I mean, 
not nothing is scripted. Everything I just said was not a script. It was just my personal opinions on these mittens. That's off the and, top of the head from what he's actually done with it. Actually, you know what? Them. Your 500k detail video that you use smittens for that. Yeah, I did. I yeah. did use the smittens mainly for the fact that um, I needed something that wasn't going to I, I wasn't going to fall over. wasn't going to uh, a towel. Like I said, I mean, I'm the type of person I'll grab a towel and get really excited to wipe an area down or whatever it is. And sometimes I don't fold it properly and sometimes it falls out of my hand and you know, I'm kind of clumsy. Whereas these really solve that problem for me. Um, the biggest thing is just making sure they're clean, making sure you're washing them properly and, and continuing to wash them with each use. I don't recommend uh, using them over and over and over again because like I said, I'm like a towel. This isn't something that you can flip over and have several different surface areas. You have one surface area and you do want to keep it uh, pretty clean for the most part. And that's why they're kind of targeted use. You use them in a situation where a towel is not the best solution. Yeah, exactly. But everywhere else you can use a towel. It's just these do serve a really good purpose for those, those nooks and crannies, that suede border, man. Yeah, it, you know, the suede, <laughs> yeah, suede border really saves it. One thing I did forget to mention is that with the glass mitt here, I mean, probably the reason why this sold me and why we, we, I was so excited that we were gonna get this is that I have window visors on my car and I have a lot of water when I'm doing a wash that gets caught up in these window visors and I don't like shoving a towel up inside there every time when I'm doing a quick drying process. So that's when I throw on this little mitt here and I'm able to go up into those recesses where those window visors are and get rid of that water before it dries and becomes a hard water spot. So it, it's a matter of finding what works for you and kind of putting these into your regimen. It, it's a matter of having them initially, right? You, gotta, you guys gotta have them to know what you wanna use them for. But like I said, now that I do have them and I've been using these for several months, uh, I can't go without them. So they're an awesome addition to your towel lineup, to your detailing lineup, whatever, whatever you wanna do, whether you're a hobbyist or you're detailing in a shop, they're awesome. All right, um, well, I guess that answers that. It looks like people do want more live videos, so I guess we better cool. do this more often, huh, that's guys? Good. That's, that, that's good to know, thank you. We, we, we appreciate it, like I said, this is impromptu, where it's what, 4, 4.30? It's, it's the end of the day here today, and you, know, you never know what you're going to get. You never know what we're going to do. We're <laughs> just going to have fun with it and roll with the punches. Yep. So anyways, guys, we will catch you in the next video, and maybe it'll be live, and maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll see more of me, Levi. Maybe we'll be I think we'll be releasing a video tomorrow, though. Oh, we A are. fun video. Yeah, we are releasing. Yeah, you guys are probably going to really enjoy that one. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. All right. We'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.